All right, so here's our situation today. We have, um, working on a range hood and camping trailer here. So the problem is, first off, the exhaust fan is out of this. Um, I know that for sure. You can see it there where it's supposed to be. Um, see all these wires and stuff in here. I'll get to those later. But uh, the light also does not work. Is there even one in here? There is. Okay. Yeah, it's just a 12 volt light bulb. And uh, the filament appears to be good, so that's good. I'm just testing the switches because I'm told that possibly one of these is bad. So, let's see if I can pull this out. It's a major pain in the butt. I might have to put this down. Okay, so with the aid of my multimeter here in, in uh, continuity mode, I've confirmed that both of these switches do in fact work. So, I'm not going to install those in yet, because for testing purposes it might help if I have these hanging down. Okay, so up in here, I need to find what's going on, because uh, it's quite interesting in here. Uh, we have this. I don't know. Th these were both connected to the switch. I am not sure what this was doing. Oh, I know what this might be for. It's probably the common... Okay, so that might have answered one of my questions. Actually, it may have answered all of them. Alright, so, I already have the light fix, as you can see. This was very... Much as I uh, much as I suspected, that's the common. And some simple pulling on the wire, I figured out that that's the light connection. And the other side of the light bulb is connected already. And here's a wire nut that I'll use to connect the fan in too. And that's what this wire was for here. This was the uh, for both switches. So very simple. The only thing I don't have is the mounting screws for the fan which is going to be a slight problem unless I can find some that match I doubt it but I'll try my best so this light this light gets a bit warm yeah I gotta put that back in there properly alright so this is all fixed the light works perfectly fine. All good there. Just have to wire back in the fan. This wire nut here. And this will connect to the switch. And I have the wire already for the connects from the switch to the fan. Just have to solder that up. Also have to find a wire for here. And uh, that's all good though. The only, like I said, the only problem is the screws for this mounting bracket. But other than that, it is looking good. All right, here's a little update on the project here. So I've got the uh, fan motor wired into the 12 volt there. I have the fuse out right now so I don't get shocked. I don't want to find out whether this stuff is all grounded or not. So I took the fuse out and it, uh, so I tested this and it works. The uh, the light still works fine. I just don't have the fuse in. This I already hooked it up and gave it a test run. This all works fine. Got the blades here. Um, I found appropriate screws for this. You can see them there. They're not for. They're not exactly for it, but they'll do. They're the right size. So I tried to put the motor up in here and you can't tilt it up in there. You have to take this bracket out. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Other than that, this project has turned out pretty easily. Alright, so two things that I did by accident while doing this. One, this wire was too short so I can connect it to the switch. And two, I reversed the polarity. So what I did was cut, cut the connector, the switch off here, and just switch it to this wire so it's long enough now. I wired it all back in. And uh, i got to put it back up in the bracket there. And I'll test it all out. Alright, so time to put the fuse back in here because it's 
especially when you have a load. I just like to make a little arc. It's not that bad though. Alright. So there we go. Just have to hook the fan switch back up and put the blade set on there. And that's pretty much it. Okay, unfortunately I did not have enough time to uh, give a proper demonstration of the fan. I gotta take my word for me, it works and it works well. So, another job well done. Time to lock it up for the night. Thank you for watching, and that's all.